How's it going everybody? This is Lois back with another video on the channel. In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a functionality of text to speech in your Ionic app. Now here I've got iPhone and I've got this blank app running and you can see the mirror of my iPhone on the screen as well. So here I've got this blank application, got one button called speech. If I press that, you can hear on my Mac, it says, hello world. So basically this is the text that it's actually uh, speaking out. So in, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can build out this functionality. And by using this functionality, sometimes you want the text to, you know, convert that into a sound and users should be able to hear that. So you can achieve that by using one of the Cordova plugins, which I will show you in this video. So this is a quick tutorial. I hope you like it. If you do like it, subscribe to the channel, like the video and let's get started. I'm going to be using Ionic uh, wrapper for Cordova plugins, which would be Cordova plugin TTS. So we're going to start by creating a new project. I'm going to write a command ionic start. And it's going to ask me if I want to select Angular or React. I'm going to select Angular and we can name our project speech. I'm going to use a blank template. Now, just for your information, Ionic 5 has been released and also they are recommending to use capacitor instead of Cordova. You could use Cordova plugins, but you can use capacitor as your compiler. So I'm going to use Y. It's going to install capacitor for me as well. It's installing NPN packages. So we wait for it. Okay. So a project has been created. I'm going to use PyCharm. So I'm going to open PyCharm professional. Our project is ready. I'm going to open this project, which is basically an empty template. I'm going to go to the home page and here, let's just get rid of this bit. And I'm going to create Ionic button and we can just say speech. And we're going to call a function on it. I'll name it speech as well or speak. Okay. We're going to go to home page and here I'm going to create that function. Now, before we write our code, we're going to go to terminal Ionic. Kodoa plugin add Kodoa dash plugin dash TTS. Okay. Now, because uh, we don't have a integration enabled with Kodoa, so what we need to do, I'm going to choose the plain command. So we use Ionic integrations enable Kodoa. Now we can use Cordova and Capacitor side by side. We will use Capacitor as our compiler, but we'll use Cordova integration. So we could use Cordova plugins as well. So I'm going to add this plugin. We need a wrapper from Ionic native as well. So I'm just going to copy that bit and probably paste it here. And that would be npm install Ionic native slash text to speech. Once that's installed, then we're going to go to app module and we are going to add a provider, which would be text to speech. Let me just let it refresh. We go to home page and here in our constructor function is private TTS. We say text to speech. Okay. That's actually not getting automatically installed. So yep, there you go. We got that. And then we're going to just copy this bit, go to modules, paste that, and then we use text to speech here as well, add a comma. Now in terms of our code, I'm going to use this, this dot TT dot speak function. And then we can use then if that's successful, then we can just log on the console saying success. And if there is an error, we can cache that as well as reason. And then we're going to do a log here as well. It's console.log and we can just pass in the reason there. Okay. That's pretty much our function. Now we go to the speak here. You could write a text here like this, 
or you can do an object which will help you to define some properties as well, like a rate in text. So I'm gonna use the text and it'll say, hello world, maybe. Okay, and then I'm gonna select the rate and we'll just use 1.3. Let's add a comma there, identify properly. And now we're gonna to go to Ionic, Capacitive add iOS, and it's going to. There is nothing in the WW folder, so we're going to do Ionic build. Once we do Ionic build, we'll see a WWW folder which will have a compiled uh, project of ours. I'll just pause the video. Okay, so project has been generated. We can see the WWW folder have our compiled project now. So I'm going to use this Ionic Capacitor Add iOS. It's going to install this project and it's also going to look at our Cordova dependencies as well. So once that's done, then we're gonna open Xcode and we're gonna start a replication to test this function. Shouldn't take long. It's saying found one Cordova plugins, which is this Cordova plugin TTS, that's good. And I'm gonna use npx cap open iOS and it's going to open Xcode with this uh, iOS project for me automatically. It's gonna open that. So it makes the job very, very easy. Okay, we're gonna click on this app, click on signing, and I'm gonna use this OS personal, and for this speech. And then we are going to click on this play button to run this application. All right, so our application is running. We got this button. If I click on that and I'm not gonna say anything and you see the, the sound will come out from my Mac computer. Okay, I can hear it says hello world. So there you go. You can add any kind of text and you can you know convert this text into speech. And you can also define the rate for that as well. How fast or how slow would you like to say that sentence or that word for you? Okay, I hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Check out my Udemy courses and also uh, follow me on GitHub. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.